Hey, this is Prak with RFMD and Digital Life. Uh, been getting a lot of, of requests to review the quality of board, and if you guys have been watching the news and you order this, you might be worried that you ordered the, the wrong board. And if you notice, um, three or four of these have caught on fire, and uh, we have this board for over a year now, so we've been running into all sorts of boards, so we can distinguish the quality what's bad and what's good. And then we found some boards to be high quality. And uh, this is over hundreds of repairs and uh, over a year of research. So what I'm gonna give you guys is the rundown of what's, what to look for in a board. And we're gonna start off with the, the lowest end of the board, okay? You can see right here uh, what you should look for when you, if you have an opportunity to open it up. If you don't see a main logic board and all you see is a battery next to the logic board like this, uh, and this battery we opened up is not really that exposed, okay? But what we want, what I want to show you guys is the difference. Uh, this main one here has a logic board integrated with a balance sensor, and everything is crammed into one, and the motor itself is really close to the source. This is a heat sink, so, and the heat sink is resting against the battery, which is a bad sign that uh, this is definitely not a good idea. And if you notice right here, you can see the fuse actually blew up on here. The problem was the capacitor is actually holding way too much charge, and when the fuse uh, shorted, the capacitor actually blew also. And we were lucky that the battery didn't catch on fire, because um, one of my uh, employees was riding this to test and it smoked in the uh, parking deck. And every board that we run into that has a independent uh, integrated uh, heat sink and balance sensor with logic board and no main logic board to actually stop the power flow, will you'll stand a good chance that it'll catch on fire. You know, so these are the boards that you want to stay away from. Okay. Uh, we run into these boards. These normally don't catch on fire, but they are a, a imitation uh, logic board. As you can see, this yellow logic board here, it's, it's, it's manufactured by another company, uh, not reparable, and they use the component of a higher quality boards, but again, the, uh, the workmanship on it and just the yellow logic board is indicative that it, it's, it's, it's been a reproduction and it's a knockoff of a higher end board. Um, however, the battery on this particular one is decent. When you look for the battery, you want to make sure it's been inspected and you have the right voltage rating. And this one is a 36 watt battery on a 36 motor. If you have a 42 watt battery on a 36 motor, you're gonna have either a burnt motor or a blown out battery, okay? With this particular board, pretty decent, it has a it has a, a switch and a capacitor, so all the power is being charged. Anything that's over will be switched off, and then the charger will be turned off. Let's move on to the higher end board. Okay, and if, if you pay over five hundred dollars for your board, you're going to be getting one of these boards here. This is the Green Logic board. This is a pretty high standard board. Uh, the battery here is a thirty-six watt, thirty-six uh, wheels right here pretty high capacity and these are transistors as you can see here these are the one that's actually supplying power to the wheels and the transistor and heat sink is actually on the plate so the the whole body becomes a heat sink and it's not sacrificing the batteries you notice the heat sink is on this side and the batteries on this side so if there's a battery next to a heat sink you know that's a bad idea to begin with because once the battery gets going and you ride for a couple hours the temperature of the battery gets close to 140 and the heatsink actually gets even hotter. So what you're gonna have is you create a climate where either the heatsink fail or the battery is gonna explode. Okay, so that's the problem that you have. Uh, if you do have one of the lower end one, my advice to you is, you know, when you watch, watch while you're charging, okay? Uh, no more than two hours of charging and um, ride it outside. Right, these are the blue board. These are the, also the high-end boards. These are the, the, the boards that you will see on like thousand-dollar boards and up. You know, they 
would probably have the, the Blue Logic board here. These were the, the OG of all the boards when they were built. And when they first made these uh, over a year ago, they only made it in the blue board. And um, these are done by a reputable dealer. And you can look at here, this is a, actually a Samsung battery. So this is a high-end board. Uh, these will retail, if you pay over $1,000 for these boards, you're getting these. You're getting longevity, you're getting distance, you're getting quality. And um, if you don't have that kind of money, I would say stay with the green board, it's safer. You know, $500 and up. And if you can afford a thousand or more, go with the blue board.